Isn't it? Oh, you thought we were talking about you? Oh, that must be so embarrassing. Wouldn't my face be red? So, how exactly does it work? You see where I'm plotting all these various little ways to humiliate me? Sometimes, sure. Like over lunch. Or if we have a few spare moments in the car. Mostly it's just spur of the moment, though. Now, let's make it a spare of some other moment, okay? I've had a bad morning. I'm wearing a tuxedo because our next mission is a wedding, and I was trying it on, and the sales lady stuck a pin in my thigh, and then her five-year-old son spilled a grape juice box all over my clothes, and I have to wear this while my things are getting dry clean, not to mention the fact that on the way over here, I got a $200 speeding ticket, and a huge yellow dent in the side of my car when I got sideswiped by a huge yellow Humvee. Our next mission is a wedding? The daughter of a U.S. ambassador is getting married, and you're going undercover at his mansion. Wow, nice spread. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. I'm not used to being in a mansion unless I'm robbing it. Maybe we should steal something. You know, just to feel comfortable. Oh, Jack, can oh, we Jack, please? On, just one thing, we'll put it right back. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. I insist you rob the home of the very important political figure who's employing us. I get it. We make a joke and you pretend to be going along with us, but you're actually being sarcastic. It's very clever. And very effective. I'll think twice before trying that again. The ambassador's daughter, Elaine, is flying in tomorrow with her fiance, Yuri Barovny, the crown prince of Kurzministan. No, Turkurzistan. No, wait, men Turkestan. Anyway, it's a stand. It's a very important stand, and the ambassador has reason to believe that she may need our help. So the daughter of an important political figure is marrying a crown prince. Sounds so movie of the week. I cast TV's James Vanderbeek as the groom. There's been a death threat. On James Vanderbeek? Yes, the death threat is on James Vanderbeek. The sarcasm thing again. I noticed. Elaine, somebody threatened to kill Elaine. Just pick up your packets, will you please? If we're guarding a wedding, why are we staking out Heather Graham's house? Oh, no, that's a separate mission. <laughs> no, that idea was rejected. Uh, Petey, you'll be the wedding planner. Oh, do I get to wear black read box and say things like rotation serving and prep time? Whatever. And in between canapes, you'll help me run surveillance. Rotation serving prep time. Shane, you'll be the wedding singer. Fine, but I refuse to do the hokey pokey. This is my cover, Haley Burnbottom. If we're gonna do gag names, why don't we just go straight for Stinky McPoopers? Miss Burnbottom is a real person. It's an old friend of the ambassador's who's laid up with a skiing injury. No one else will know you're not her. Rich socialite. Ooh, do I at least get to have one of those little dogs in the big purse? No, we don't have the budget. Since when? Since we have to make up for the overages in your first six cases. Sorry, Stinky. So, Jack, why would someone want to kill Elaine? I know the answer to that. And I also know who's gonna do it and when. But I'm not gonna tell you because that would be too easy. There's a point where it's just overkill. Listen to me. The ambassador's flying back from Europe tomorrow. I've assured him we'll be taking extraordinary precautions. No one else at the wedding will know what we're doing. Now, if we're unable to maintain our surveillance because somebody IDs us, we could compromise the mission. So play this one absolutely by the book. No one, and I mean no one, finds out what we're doing. Understand? Yes, Jack, you are always easy to understand. There are three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. bathroom inside the guest bathroom. Yeah, and in the kitchen, instead of a cappuccino maker, they had a Starbucks. I'm just kidding, Seattle's best. <laughs> what a great place for a wedding. I don't know, I'm more of a traditionalist. Midget priest, Elvish chapel, barking dogs, wedding march. I don't care what kind, I just love weddings. They're these magical moments suspended in time, steeped in romance. I know, and everyone's on their best behavior, especially guys. A wedding does bring out the best in a man. Oh, oh, God, I got the worst gas today. We're getting better at setting up our comedic entrances. Let's go over the plans again. Oh, we've already gone over them twice. I know, but remember the five Ps. Proper planning prevents poor performance. I thought it was the seven Ps. It was. Congress just passed the Alliterative Verbiage Reduction Act. Oh. Uh, can we start? 
First, we set up the surveillance cameras, make sure they transmit to the van where you'll be monitoring, then we secure the perimeter. Once secured, as wedding planner, I will provide a roving visual backup to Shane, who will use her vantage point as singer to make sure no one gets within 50 feet of the bride. But if anyone does, Cassie will be the last line of defense. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect would be Cassie out here pumping equipment and setting up while I got the case Susie Snotty sipping on Singapore slings. The five S's. How come Cassie gets all the cushy inside jobs? Oh, trust me, her job isn't exactly cushy. Elaine can be... A shrew? A harpy? The queen of mean? The princess of darkness? A harridan of epic Greek proportions worthy of being one of the twelve labors of Hercules? I think we could all watch a little more PBS. So you must stop interrupting me. You paused. I did not. You did too. It was a pregnant pause. It was ready to give birth. It wasn't a pause, pregnant or otherwise. It was a... An abeyance? A lull. A dramatic disconnect first used in Kabuki theater designed to create a visual rhythm? Will you stop doing that? I was going to say that Lane can be... What, did your high school career counselor suggest in that minimum wage worker? Or is this just something you aspire to all by yourself? <sighs> this runner, it's wrinkled, okay? Pick it up, lay it down again, and it better be as flat as your future job prospects, or I'll have Daddy run an immigration check on your entire family tree. <sighs> you get the idea. Now, today's a pool party. Tonight is a dinner for all the out-of-town guests. Now, even though the wedding in there for greatest threat is tomorrow, we must be vigilant. Remember, the ambassador wants everything to go off without a hitch. Doesn't want anyone to have even the slightest hint that we're here. Yeah, Jack here. I'd like to order my usual pizza. Number to 23 Maplewood Drive. Bring it to the surveillance van out front. It's a huge satellite. There's lots of antenna skimmers. Jack! Testing. One, two, three. Can you see me in this one? What about now? I'm sorry. We haven't scheduled any time for a seizure. Oh, hi. I was just um, doing some facial exercises. I'm Dee Dee, your wedding planner. Just moisturized. So, where's Phyllis, the wedding planner I've been dealing with for the past six months? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Yeah, she came down with a bug, so. <gasps> you must be Yuri, the glowing groom. Don't bother. He doesn't speak English. He's from Kurtzmanistan. No, to Kurzistan. Or is it men Turkistan? Anyway, it's a stan. A very important stan. And as much as I enjoy chit-chatting with someone who I'll never see after tomorrow, let's talk menus. Okay. Tonight, we will start with a radicchio and red raisin salad, followed by filet mignon. Oh, sweetheart. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I'm allergic to raisins and red meat. Uh, I don't have that in my notes. Well, that's because I have a nutritionist on staff and it changes daily. As of 10 this morning, I have to avoid milk, butter, wheat, vegetable oil, green vegetables, red meat, poultry, soy, shellfish, non-shellfish, fruit, flour, sugar, salt, and cilantro. <laughs> All right, I'm not really allergic to cilantro. It's just so third world. Ta-ta! <laughs> Hello, I'm Shane. I'd like to... Encroach on my personal space? Introduce myself. I'll be singing for you tonight and tomorrow at the wedding. Oh, how lovely. I can't wait to hear you. Now? You have other plans? No. No, it's just that the band hasn't gotten here yet. Why don't you just show me your set list? Yeah. Hmm. I was hoping for something from this century. Oh, and I would so love it if you'd go there. You know, Whitney, Aretha, Diana, the sisters. <laughs> Oh, my aching arches. Mm. This place is bigger than my fourth husband's second house. Mm. Can I help you? No, just trying to imagine what you'd look like with an ounce of fashion sense. Mm. Nice curls. I bet somewhere there's a poodle going, brr, it's cold. <laughs> and you are? It starts with a B, ends with an ord. Bored. Not that it's your fault or anything, it's just some days are a waste of Prozac. <laughs> Haley Birnbottom, family friend. I met your father traveling. And where would that have been? Milan, Madrid, London. Who remembers? It was three livers ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't speak like this in front of the help. <clears throat> if you can even call them that. You're awful. <laughs> Aren't you just? <sighs> Why don't you give me a tour of the house, starting with the bar? Oh, why not? I'm still on my first liver. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I don't know who's worse, the Ice Queen or whatever Bel Air vampire Cassie's channeling. Right, Jack, did you set up all the cameras? Jack's not getting a picture on camera 12. All right, I'll check it out. It's 5.30. 
funny. You have no idea. I wouldn't drop that. Or even shake it. It's packed with enough plastique to atomize whoever's holding it. Oh, and it's rigged to activate when I do this. Don't worry, you got a minute or two before boom time. Or you could just drop it sooner and boom time as well. Who are you? I think the more interesting question is who are you? Shane, the tough one, right? It sure wasn't tough to get the drop on you. That's probably because you're the weakest she spy. Come on. We both know you were raised with a silver spoon. The former little rich girl who's got more in common with the bride than anybody else here. It's fitting, isn't it? The she spy most at one with Elaine is soon to be one with her wallpaper. Ta da! Cassie, do you need a little help? Hi guys, no biggie here. Just your average oriental elephant that'll explode if I let go, or if that timer you're hearing sets it off. If I had a nickel every time that's happened. Throw it out the window. If I'm not mistaken, I think that would involve letting go. Maybe you can clear it by the time it blows. Yeah, and if not, they're doing wonders with prosthetic limbs lately. I'll be quiet now. You guys should clear out. There's no reason for all of us to be here. She's right. Makes sense to me. Kidding. Kidding. I had chuckle, but it would shake and I'd die. I can see some circuitry if we open up that panel. No, 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 don't! It might blow if someone else touches it. Did she say it would? She didn't say it wouldn't. I guess we shouldn't point out a call it names or paint it purple because she didn't mention any of those things having an effect on it either. You guys, it's winding down. It's gonna blow. Maybe I should throw it. Not yet. Why? Well, wait till Thursday, but I might not be here. The bomb's got an electronic ignition. Maybe we can find a way to short it out. She's like, what? I don't know. Water, something. Water. Let's bring it to the kitchen sink. There are people in the kitchen, dummy. You wanna blow them up? I'm the dummy, Miss Girl, with the elephant bomb. Why? What are you saying? That this couldn't have happened to either of you? That I'm the only one who ever makes a mistake? A little joke in the face of danger. It's what we do, remember? Sheesh. Keep looking. Champagne, soda, anything wet. Okay, hey guys, it's getting close. Hang on, okay, there's gotta be something. We're looking, we're looking. All right, that's it. Everyone's up, I'm gonna throw it. I think this is the part where you lick your hand and say, mmm, raspberry, my favorite. I can't believe it worked. There's always room in jello. Get it? In jello rather than for jello. <laughs> we'll always have Chino. What does that mean? It wasn't even a real bomb. I came as soon as I heard you. What happened? Where's the bomb? It was just some kind of joke. This little flag popped up. Any idea what it could mean? Oh, my God. He hates it when dessert gets ruined. <clears throat> Elaine, I'm sorry, but as the head of security, I'm going to have to insist that you cancel your wedding. <laughs> oh, cancel my wedding? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I had no idea Daddy hired someone with such a marvelous sense of humor. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Uh, uh, Mordecai, Eugene, Gaylord. Jack. Right, right, of course it is. That was lovely, Jack. A skosh of levity to lighten the premarital jitters. <laughs> it wasn't levity. I wasn't joking. I am absolutely serious. Somebody is trying to kill you, and you have to call this off. Okay. Now you're bumming me out, Jack. Listen to me. You are in a lot of danger. You have no idea who you're dealing with here. No. You have no idea who you're dealing with here. Okay, this is my wedding. It's about me and what I want. And I don't care if a ninja death squad bursts through my prize rose bushes and karate kicks half my guests into the next county. I will not call it off. There was a bomb. There was a bomb on the grounds. Did it explode? Well, no. A little flag popped up. Well, then, there isn't any danger, is there? You know, it was probably Yuri's best man, Maharini. Those Kurtzministanis are quite the practical jokesters. <laughs> Or is it Turkistanis? Or men Turkistanis? Anyway, it's a Stanny. A very important Stanny. Elaine? Gaylord! We're finished. Our conversation is over. Now, my father should be coming home from the airport very soon. And if you don't want to be demoted to crossing guard at Arctic Circle Junior High, you will drop this subject. I'm in the study. I'm going to hide some more mini cams in here. Don't mind me. I like to go room to room making sure my host house isn't as nice as mine. <laughs> wow, look at all these wonderful books. I bet Elaine's read every one of them. <laughs> right. 
and Cher's lips are real. You can stop talking now. We're all a bit tired of that character. Cassie, strong, sarcastic, notorious con woman, natural born leader. Ooh, and a master of disguises. Though not much at recognizing a disguise, are we? Something I can do for you. No, oh, honey, you already have. If nothing else, just the sight of you in pain on the floor lends the day a certain glow. I aim to please. And I aim to kill. But not quite yet, because I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> you know, I can't imagine either of your colleagues letting the maid get the best of them. But then again, we all know that your arrogance makes you the weakest member of the team, don't we? Ah, just a little something to chew on. In the meantime, you can catch up on all these wonderful books. The thing is, there's, there's only one. One? You mean to tell me one guy did all this? Well, the other thing is, it was a woman. Woman? To be perfectly precise, it was the maid. Oh, I'm not weak or anything. My back was turned. You know, this kind of thing's happened to you guys. Actually, no. Not really. Never. It must have been the same woman who was dressed as a waiter. Yeah, she knows how to make a bomb, too. The only thing that was missing was the explosive. She knew an awful lot about me. What do you mean? Name, background, endearing personality traits. <gasps> about me, too. And she had this need to taunt me, to make fun, to prove that she was better than me. And all because she got you to walk into a trap in broad daylight. Oh, no. She was here, too? Yeah, but how did you know it was a she? OK, there's something I should tell you. It's about this woman. Now, I can't go into detail, but she may be the most dangerous foe you've ever met. Now, we have to go to red alert, stay extremely focused. We can't allow anything to distract us in the slightest way, shape, or form. There's my singer. Ah, uh, TikTok, dear. Dinner starts in five minutes. No? Um, you know, Elaine, this might not be the best time for her to perform. My, 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 my. Aren't you the little hyphenate? Security chief slash booking agent? Well, what I think he means is that I feel a little scratchy throat coming on. Perfect. I love a raspy voice. It'll give the songs a more authentic black soulfulness. Oh, come on. Just checking, but you want us to stop her from being killed, right? Oh, come on, you were thinking it too. Just do your best to fill in for Shane. I'll be in the van. Cassie, glue yourself to Elaine. Joy. <sighs> hey, guys. Great gigging with you. Yeah, my name's Shane. I know I'm not your usual singer. She came down with a bug. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Good. Well, you know, since we're all in this together, we should at least find out what key we'll be in, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that key's fine. Oh, the ambassador could. I need to speak to him immediately. Uh, transfer to my... You can? A secure line from the airplane. I'm sorry, I, I can't go up to the house and take the call, and I can't stress the importance of remaining at my post. The ambassador's just gonna have to... Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh, uh, change plans. Gotta go up to the house. Dee Dee, I need you here to help me watch the monitors. Right, Jack. Cassie, stay where you are. Right, Jack. Shane, it might be a little more effective if you leave the stage, work the crowd a little bit. Oh, right, Jack. Hey, it's your wedding day. Shouldn't be a dreading day. Certainly not a beheading day. If you want to grow old, take care around the clock. If you want to guarantee wedlock and keep an igneous rock from knocking you cold. Okay, I got your backs. Yeah, we're just gonna slow it down for you. Just a little peep, 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 peep. As men and wives, there'll be times of strife. But watch that steak knife that comes from nowhere. Or the occasion. 
occasional bombing that could destroy the calming and lead to embalming and mess up your hair. Cassie, how's it going out there? Still no sign of a party crash. Shane, what do you see? It looks like clear sailing. I do. They'll be hailing. And that beats an unveiling. Down at the morgue. Hi, Dee Dee. Whitney Houston, we have a problem. I think it's her. I see her on the monitor, but she's too close to the camera. I can't tell where she is. Because I'm standing right behind you. Dee Dee? Dee Dee. Dee Dee, Dee Dee, Dee Dee. -dee. <laughs> You're the master hacker, aren't you? Optimistic, upbeat, always cheerful. Thank you. No, 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 thank you. You're being even more ineffective and disposable than your partners. I guess the rumors are true. You are the weakest she's been. Who are you? You don't know? I'm crushed. Just like your windpipe. I'm the original she spy. Oh, thank God you're okay. I had the most wonderful dream. And you were there, and you were there, and so were you. So, now will you tell us that one little thing you've been leaving out? The truth. Who is this woman? Her name is Tanya, and she was the very first she spy. There was someone else before us? Why didn't you tell us about her? Who has her old room? Wait, wait. I can only answer one at a time. Did you train her, too? What is she doing here? Who does her hair and wardrobe? Stop. Will you stop? I'll tell you everything. Uh, Tanya was the first one we put through the program. Same program you'd go through later. That's why she's so formidable. Except for one small detail. She's... Well, I, I had to let her go. The job started to get to her. What do you mean? Let's just leave it at... She has issues. Speaking of issues, she was only able to sucker punch me because I had no idea who she was before today, not because the rumors about me are true. Not that there are any rumors. Anyway, when I told her that she didn't fit with the program, she escaped rather than go back to prison. I don't know where she's been or what she's been doing until now. So we're facing someone who knows the program inside and out and who has the same skills we do. Who can think, plan, and counterplan like an agent. Which means to beat her, we need to relearn everything we've been taught from scratch in a whole new way she's not aware of. We don't have time for that. Look, something else is going on. Why would you say that? She's toying with us. She had a number of chances to kill Elaine and didn't. Maybe she has a whole other agenda. Maybe something personal's going on. Hey, did everyone see that ice sculpture, the National Bird of Yuri's country? I think it's a squab or a... What happened, Jack? Did you do something to kind of make her angry? Of course not. That's ridiculous. What can I have done? You fired her. What did you say? I told her she was fired. But how did you say it? You're fired. Well, that explains why she's so furious. It does? It does. How? How what? How does it explain why she's so furious? You're kidding, right? No. You don't get it, do you? No. You have no idea what you said, No, you? no, 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 no. Would you, someone just tell me? You don't know either, do you? Nope, not a clue. I'm at the foggiest. Well, that was 24 seconds well spent. <sighs> now, look, whatever her reason for being back here, the one thing about Tanya is she's relentless. In fact, she scored a perfect 100% on the relentless portion of the She Spies entrance exam. She'll be back. We can be sure of that. What are you doing? Let me out of here! Sorry, it's for your own protection. And for our own amusement. You probably guess we're not who you think. What I think is that you are dead meat. Be that as it may, we're here to save you from an assassin. We've looked that room over thoroughly. We've done a bomb sweep and a bug sweep. We even checked the couch for spare change. And until we can catch that assassin, it's the one place on these grounds we can guarantee you are completely safe. When I get out, I have a guarantee that there won't be one place in the entire free world where you'll be completely safe. You will never eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a between meal snack in this town again. I am going to... Next time, we have got to use a faster set. Okay. No windows, one door. The only way Tanya can get in is through us. All we can do is wait. Now that we're ready for her, who wants to bet she won't show? I bet you're right. I bet she's nothing when she can't sneak up from behind. Except with me, it was the bomb thing. I could have taken her if she came up from behind. 
Meaning? Meaning nothing. Okay, some of us just have strengths in certain areas. And your strength would be what? Looking scared while holding a bomb? Oh, come on. We all know that my strength is strength. You think you're stronger than us just because you didn't get cold cocked? Ah, uh, Dade's point of order. I got cold cocked, you got grabbed. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Just that, you know, with me she had to use a weapon. With you she didn't. Well, excuse me, Miss She Spy All That. Is that your less than subtle way of saying you're the best one here? I didn't say I was the best one here. Out loud. Good. Because if anyone thought she was a sacred cow, I'd just have to kick her flank steak. And I might just have to, to use some other bovine appropriate metaphor. How about we all just stop chewing our cut and find out who is the grade A beef and who's the ground round? Fine with me. Me too. Let's just blow this thing wide open. <laughs> is it too late to rephrase that? Cassie, Shane, Dee, Dee, come in. Cassie, Shane, Dee, Dee. You might want to call them by their real names. Larry, Moan, Curling. Tanya. Jack. I screwed up your signal. That's not all you screwed up. This has gone too far. How could you do this? You're insane. You're causing mayhem and destruction. You're trying to murder people. By the way, have you lost weight? Yes. Can you tell? Oh, absolutely, especially in the face. Really? Thanks. What did I hear out there? Where's my team? They're safe. As long as I'm with you. What do you say for old time's sake? We slip into something a little more comfortable. Like, say, your office. Is this a pleasant surprise, or is this a pleasant surprise? Are those my only choices? <laughs> you scam. Always with the clever quip. So, I took the liberty of breaking in earlier and preparing a little something for us. You like it? What can I say? It's perfect. The candles, the music, the ever-present threat of being shot in the head. Oh. Let's just say we're easing back into it. Oh, I made some of our favorites. All sinfully fat. But that doesn't matter because we'll work, we'll work it off later. later. You remember it, Pooh Bear? Don't forget that kind of romantic banter. Do you remember Laguna? A restaurant where we caught our own clams. Drank wine coolers all night? The beach was cold. You bought me that sweater. And I got us the room. When you said you wanted to butter up the boss, I had no idea you meant literally. I'll never forget that day when you walked into the warden and you said, I want to take you away from all this. Did I say that? No, something like that. Pooh Bear. How could you do it to me? Why would you turn your back on me? I didn't turn my back on you. I was trying to help you. You were changing. The unnecessary force, the violent behavior, the parking tickets. I paid those! After we happened, everything just started spinning out of control. You should be thankful, you know, in some species, a female eats the male after mating. And not in the way we like it. <laughs> Yeah, cordial. You bring out the beast. Tanya, is that why you came back? For me? For us. And why do you think I chose a wedding? I wanted the most romantic setting I could possibly find when I showed you that I'm the only one you need. I mean, those three pom-pom girls that you hired to replace me? <laughs> Waste of time. I outsmarted, I outfought all of them. I'm back, Jack. And I wanted you to see firsthand that you should just send those pretenders back to the prison glee club where they belong. Tanya, you never needed to prove anything to me. After what we had, there was never any question who I'd choose. Oh, Jack. <laughs> I have dreamt of this moment for so long. You know, I was going to do anything to get you back. You know what I always say, when there's a will, there's someone there to contest it. I'm sorry. There never was any question who I'd choose. What are you doing, Jack? I'm the one you chose first. I beat all three of them. I beat them even when they knew I was coming. I killed Elaine while they were guarding her. I wanted to show you they can't even work as a team. <sighs> while they were busy fighting each other, I threw a bomb down the air conditioning vent. Elaine is dead, so I still win. You have to pick me. I'm the best she spy there is. Not quite. But there's nothing wrong with finishing fourth. Hi. <laughs> We found the bug you put in the study, so we knew you were listening. We also knew you were trying to set us against each other. We pretended to argue, so you thought we were distracted. We persuaded Elaine to record some screaming. Then we put the tape recorder in the study, so that's what you blew up. This is all very dramatic, but if you don't mind, my driver. Well, since we all played on the same team, why don't we all go down together? Those aren't real flowers. It's pure molded plastique. Enough to reduce this building to a pile of bricks. So you see, I still win. You always taught me to have a backup, Jack. Tanya, don't. 
Please, this isn't you. I told you, this job changed you. That's why I let you escape instead of sending you back to prison. You let her escape? You said she escaped. That means you lied to the chairman. I just thought letting her go would help. I thought if you got away from all this, you'd turn back into the person I fell in love with. And maybe... Affairs. I always have such a messy ending. Actually, Jack always taught us to have a backup, too. Based on your first bomb, I figured if you tried this again, you'd use the same RG-40 remote detonator. This little bad boy jams the signal. Deed's figured out the Elaine fake-out. Shane figured out how to neutralize your bomb. Guess there's nothing left for me to figure out. But since we're a team of equals, they let me block the door. I think we all know that won't be an obstacle. to hurt people? Can I be a she spies? Hi. We just finished all the paperwork. Thought we'd stop by and say goodnight. See if you needed anything. No. No, I'm fine. In case you were wondering, we didn't think anyone else needed to know about the things that happened between you and Tanya. Be our little secret. You know, until we really need something. And Jack, it's okay. We loved her. Though there is one bothersome little detail. It's just a matter of pride, that's all. We'll mention it and then we'll let it drop. We couldn't help but notice. Here, you and Tanya and all. We just feel a little slighted. You understand. <laughs> let me assure you, given the right circumstances, I would be a lucky man to have an unhealthy, self-destructive, and totally inappropriate relationship with each and every one of you. And I mean that. Oh. You don't really oh, Jack. Thanks, oh, you just oh, Jack. <laughs> Guys, thanks for winning. There was a time she was really something. We're sure there was. Night, Jack. Good night. Good night.
Ouch! Is that hot or what? Come to mama. My toes are starting to curl. Thank you. I know I don't get dressed up a lot, but this is a sort of casual elegance that I think most naturally uh, complements both my personality and my, shall we say, slenderish physique. Hmm. Sorry. We were talking about the plasma screen. That's a new monitor, isn't it? Oh. You thought we were talking about you? Oh, that must oh. be so embarrassing. Would my face be red? So, how exactly does it work? You say I'm plotting all these various little ways to humiliate me? Sometimes, sure. Like over lunch. Or if we have a few spare moments in the car. Mostly it's just spur of the moment, though. Now, let's make it the spur of some other moment, okay? I've had a bad morning. I'm wearing a tuxedo because our next mission is a wedding, and I was trying it on, and the sales lady stuck a pin in my thigh, and then her five-year-old son spilled a grape juice box all over my clothes, and I have to wear this while my things are getting dry clean, not to mention the fact that on the way over here, I got a $200 speeding ticket, and a huge yellow dent in the side of my car when I got sideswiped by a huge yellow Humvee. Our next mission is a wedding? The daughter of a U.S. ambassador is getting married, and you're going undercover at his mansion. Wow, nice spread. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. I'm not used to being in a mansion unless I'm robbing it. Maybe we should steal something. You know, just to feel comfortable. Oh, Jack, can oh, we Jack, please? On, just me? one thing, we'll put it right back. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. I insist you rob the home of the very important political figure who's employing us. I get it. We make a joke, and you pretend to be going along with us, but you're actually being sarcastic. It's very clever. And very effective. I'll think twice before trying that again. The ambassador's daughter... Elaine is flying in tomorrow with her fiancé, Yuri Barovny, the crown prince of Kurzministan. No, Turkurzistan. No, wait, men Turkestan. Anyway, it's a stand. It's a very important stand, and the ambassador has reason to believe that she may need our help. So the daughter of an important political figure is marrying a crown prince. Sounds so movie of the week. I cast TV's James Vanderbeek as the groom. There's been a death threat. On James Vanderbeek? Yes, the death threat is on James Vanderbeek. The sarcasm thing again. I noticed. Elaine! Somebody threatened to kill Eli. Just pick up your packets, will you please? If we're guarding a wedding, why are we staking out Heather Graham's house? What? Oh, no, it's a separate mission. <laughs> no, that idea was rejected. Uh, Edie, you'll be the wedding planner. Oh, do I get to wear black Reeboks and say things like rotation serving and prep time? Whatever. And in between canapes, you'll help me run surveillance. Rotation serving prep time. Shane, you'll be the wedding singer. Fine, but I refuse to do the hokey pokey. This is my cover, Haley Burnbottom. If we're gonna do gag names, why don't we just go straight for Stinky McPoopers? Miss Burnbottom is a real person. It's an old friend of the ambassador's who's laid up with a skiing injury. No one else will know you're not her. Rich socialite. Ooh, do I at least get to have one of those little dogs in the big purse? No, we don't have the budget. Since when? Since we have to make up for the overages in your first six cases. Sorry, Stinky. So, Jack, why would someone want to kill Elaine? I know the answer to that. And I also know who's gonna do it and when. But I'm not gonna tell you because that would be too easy. There's a point where it's just overkill. Listen to me. The ambassador's flying back from Europe tomorrow. I've assured him we'll be taking extraordinary precautions. No one else at the wedding will know what we're doing. Now, if we're unable to maintain our surveillance because somebody IDs us, it could compromise a mission. So play this one absolutely by the book. No one, and I mean no one, finds out what we're doing. Understand? Yes, Jack, you are always easy to understand. There are three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. bathroom inside the guest bathroom. Yeah, and in the kitchen, instead of a cappuccino maker, they had a Starbucks. I'm just kidding, Seattle's best. <laughs> what a great place for a wedding. I don't know, I'm more of a traditionalist. Midget priest, Elvish chapel, barking dogs, wedding march. I don't care what kind, I just love weddings. They're these magical moments suspended in time, steeped in romance. I know, and everyone's on their best behavior, especially guys. A wedding does bring out the best in a man. 
Oh, God, I got the worst gas today. We're getting better at setting up our comedic entrances. Let's go over the plans again. Oh, we've already gone over them twice. I know, but remember the five Ps. Proper planning prevents poor performance. I thought it was the seven Ps. It was. Congress just passed the Alliterative Verbiage Reduction Act. Oh. Uh, can we start? First, we set up the surveillance cameras, make sure they transmit to the van where you'll be monitoring, then we secure the perimeter. Once secured, as wedding planner, I will provide a roving visual backup to Shane, who will use her vantage point as singer to make sure no one gets within 50 feet of the bride. But if anyone does, Cassie will be the last line of defense. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect would be Cassie out here pumping equipment and setting up while I got to play Susie Snotty sipping on Singapore slings. The five S's. How come Cassie gets all the cushy inside jobs? Oh, trust me, her job isn't exactly cushy. Elaine can be... A shrew? A harpy? The queen of me? The princess of darkness? A harridan of epic Greek proportions worthy of being one of the twelve labors of Hercules? I think we could all watch a little more PBS. You must stop interrupting me. You paused. I did not. You did too. It was a pregnant pause. It was ready to give birth. It wasn't a pause, pregnant or otherwise. It was a... An abeyance? A lull. A dramatic disconnect first juice in Kabuki theater designed to create a visual rhythm? Will you stop doing that? I was gonna say that Elaine can be... What, did your high school career counselor suggest in that minimum wage worker? Or is this just something you aspire to all by yourself? <sighs> this runner is wrinkled, okay? Pick it up, lay it down again, and it better be as flat as your future job prospects, or I'll have Daddy run an immigration check on your entire family tree. <sighs> you get the idea. Now, today's a pool party. Tonight is a dinner for all the out-of-town guests. Now, even though the wedding in there for greatest good is tomorrow, we must be vigilant. Remember, the ambassador wants everything to go off without a hitch. Doesn't want anyone to have even the slightest hint that we're here. Yeah, Jack here. I'd like to go to my usual pizza. Liberty 23 Maplewood Drive. Bring to the surveillance van out front. It's a huge satellite. There's lots of antenna scanners.